Yo, so what's up guys? I'm Vincent and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, ang isi-share ko sa inyo ngayon is kung paano ba talaga gamitin ng kapo. Yan. So mostly sa mga beginners and even dun sa mga matatagal ng guitar player, ay hindi nila naintindihan kung ano ba ang theory behind sa kapo. So madalas nakikita lang nila sa mga, sa internet kapag nagsa-search sila ng chords ay kasabihin ng naggumawa ng vlog or ng nag-share ng chords is ito ito yung chords and lagay mo yung kapo sa first fret, second fret, third fret or etc. But I want you to use kapo with complete understanding. So bear with me dahil meron tayong counting music theory na gagamitin dito. Truth to be told, you can use kapo in five different places. So hindi lang siya sinabi pagka sinabing first fret ay sa first fret. You can even use it on the third fret. Ah, uh, sixth fret at uh, sa buong fret word depende sa key. So paano nga ba talaga gamitin ng kapo? So number one, ang dapat yung malaman is alamin niyo muna yung chord progression nung tutugtugin niyo. Let's say yung chord progression mo is B flat, F, G minor and E flat. So B flat, F, G minor and E flat. Yan. So, kung nakita mo, puro siya bar chords and kung beginner ka, is medyo mahirap yun. This is one of the reasons why we are using kapo. Kasi, it eliminates yung need para sa mga bar chords and magkakaroon ka ng access sa mga open sounding chords like, let's say, G. Yan. Ayun, yung iba pang mga open sounding chords natin, A, C, D, yan. So, we will look into five keys. The key of C, A, G, E, D. So, ang term ko dyan is caged. So, yun ang kailangan mo lang tandaan. So, you need to to be familiar or much better, memorize nyo dapat yung music, uh, yung family chords or yung major scale ng key of C, A, G, E, D. Para mas madali kang magkapo. Okay. So, alam na natin kung ano yung guitar chord progression natin. So, ang pangalawa mong dapat gawin is to determine kung ilan ang steps niya backwards from the original key to the caged keys natin. So, ang guitar progression natin, guitar chord progression natin is in the key of B flat and A sharp. I sorry, B flat or A sharp. We need to count backwards kung ilan steps siya. So, B flat to C kapag nagbilang ka, so B flat to C is 10 steps backward, ha? backward, ha? hindi tayo papunta. Backward. C, B flat to C is 10 steps. B flat to A is 1 step. B flat to G is uh, 3 steps. B flat to E is 6 steps. And B flat to D is 8 steps. After knowing this, you can proceed to the next step. Third is place your kapo on the fret. Depende dun sa number of steps. Let's say uh, you want key of G. So, nakadepende. Kaya nga nasabi ko kanina, kaya nga up to 5 places mo pwedeng ilagay yung kapo. So, sa ating uh, list is ang possible lang na pwede natin lagyan dyan is yung key of A, G, and D. Kasi sa, ah, sorry, key of A, G, at E. Kasi yung key of C is 10 steps, so you need to place that on the 10th fret. So, dito. So, playing here is, ewan ko, kapag solo player ka is not really a good place. Kag key of D naman is sa 8th fret. So, medyo mataas-taas din. So, ako hanggang 6 to 7th fret lang ako eh. Matataasan na nga ako dun sa 7. So, ang pwede natin lagyan is yung A sa 1st fret. Then, G sa 3rd fret. At E sa 6th fret. Pero, let's say you want the key of G since yun yung pinakakuman. Okay. So, B flat to G is 3 steps. Ngayon, dapat, kung gusto mo talaga magamit yung kapo sa 3rd fret, then you need to transpose the chord progression to the key of G. So, kung 3 steps below ang B flat to G, ganun lang din ang gagawin mo sa ibang chords. So, sa yung chord progression. So, ang chord progression natin is, di ba, B flat, F, G minor, and E flat. So, B flat becomes G, kasi 3 steps lower. Then, F, becomes D kapag bibilangin mo siya 3 steps lower 
then G minor becomes E minor and E flat becomes C. So magiging ang chords mo ngayon ay G, D, E minor, C. Ayan. So ito na yung gagamitin mong chords. Halip na yung, yung bar chords. So here is the sample nung uh, original version na yung bar chords ang gamit versus dun sa sa nakakapo sa third. So, ipapan ko sa left yung rig and yung nakakapo na version is sa right. So, sabay ko silang tutugtugin. Okay. So, kung narinig niyo yung tunog is definitely mas better ng yung nakakapo. And... To give you more options, gaya nga nasabi ko kanina, you can place it on the 1st fret you want, if you want the key of A. And you can place it on the 6th fret if you want the key of E. Basta ang kailangan mo lang gawin is i-transpose yung chords. The last thing you need to know para maalaman nyo kung paano gamitin ng kapo is you have to understand na kapag nakakapo ka, let's say dito sa 3rd fret, gaya nga ng ating chord progression na G, D, E minor, and C. You have to understand na kapag tinanong ka, anong chords ng kanta na yan? Hindi yan yung chords na sasabihin mo. So, para, para malaman mo kung ano talaga yung original chords nito kapag hindi ka nakakapo, let's say some your bass player, tinanong ka, uy, anong chords ng kanta? Then, kailangan mo lang i-reverse yung process wherein instead of uh, subtracting three steps dun sa chords mo, you have to add three steps. So, let's say sa G, kailangan mo lang siya ng dagdag, dagdagan ng tatlo. So, kapag uh, binilang natin, G, G sharp, A, A sharp. Yun. So, B flat. So, ang sasabihin mo is B flat sa halip na G. So, kung bibilangin natin, G becomes B flat, D becomes F, E minor becomes G minor, and C becomes E flat. So, kapag tinanong niya, ang sasabihin mo is B flat, F, G minor and E flat ang chords. Sindi G, D, E minor, C. Kasi kapag tinugtog nyo yun, magkakaiba kayo ng key. So that's it for today's guitar lesson. So hopefully naintindihan mo ang theory behind the kapo and you can use it efficiently. Especially kapag nasa band ka, you don't want to be on the same frequency kagaya ng ibang guitar players. Kaya nga you have up to 5 places para uh, mag-position ka depende sa opposite sa ginagawa ng guitar player. Let's say, kung ang tunay-tugtog niya is dito, then you have to choose a place sa kapo na medyo nandito, depending do sa theory na tinuro ko nga sa inyo. So, yun. Para di kayo nagkakasapawan pag nasa mix na. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any questions. Again, thanks for watching and have a great week. Thank mm -hmm. you.